Good morning, my world of rogues. My name is Erin Rogoff, and I would like to welcome you to my booktube channel. So, this morning has been very productive. I ran errands for my mom, and I went to the library, so today has been pretty good so far. Anyway, I wanted to see if my library had the final book in the Three Dark Crown series, and they didn't. But they did have the Queens of Fenburn novella, which I dove right into. And if you can believe it, through the speed reading challenge, I have finished the book already. So now I wanted to review The Young Queens, which was part one of the novella. Moving on for the summary, it's the prequel before Three Dark Crowns, and this novella focuses on the three queens, Mirabella, Arsinoe, and Catherine, and it focuses on their upbringing from birth to their teenage years. What did I like about this novella? A whole lot. I liked Mirabella's dedication to her sisters and the scene where she made the storm when refusing to forget Arsinoe and Catherine. That scene was so beautiful, and I, like... I can't even imagine what it would be like to be without my brother just because we're so close, we're like best friends, and if I had to forget my brother, I forget a lot of other things, but I don't forget anything about family or books, so those are like the two topics covered. Anyway, I also liked Arsinoe the naturalist and how she loved all things nature-based, and if I was one of the three dark queens, if I was like a triplet, I would probably be a naturalist queen, and I'm actually really happy with that because I love all things nature. Camping, hiking, fishing, canoeing, whitewater rafting, taking pictures of dangerous animals, petting wolves on a reserve. I've done that. Well, not really on a reserve, but I did it in a controlled area where I wouldn't be hurt. And no, it wasn't a zoo. It was actually the, um, what's it called? It's an event that my dad does because he works for the Department of Environmental Protection. So I get to see all these cool animals so much of the time when we go traveling together. Anyway, moving back to the book. I also liked how Arsinoe tried to escape with her foster siblings, even though it didn't work out the way they planned. So that was really sad, and I'm, I'm reading the book, and I'm like, no! But I can't wait to finish reading the series. And, oh, moving on to what I disliked about the novel. I actually disliked how all the queens were more figureheads than their actual titles. How the Black Council was so corrupt with power and control over the three queens. Part of that actually bothered me. And if you know me, you know that I absolutely hate injustice. It makes me, like... I can't explain how much it makes me want to, like, punch a wall or something. And that's just, like, me being me. But anyway, moving on to my rating, my review, and would I recommend? My rating, 4 out of 5 stars. Hands down. No question there. Review, a novel beginning to explain the powers and develop a world, island and mainland, before it was shown. This is one novella that is a quick read, has high fantasy and dark fantasy ideas. And, would I recommend this novel? Absolutely. This is awesome. This is the perfect start to the Three Dark Crown series, and I implore you to read it because it is that good. Anyway, that is it for today, so if you like this video, subscribe to my booktube channel below, like this video below to support me, and have a great day everyone!